Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Chandra Cotter, Technology Offering Program Manager at RF SUNY, currently dedicated to the AIM Photonics Technology Offerings. I know we have some new folks with us today, as well as folks who are well-versed in all things AIM Photonics. So first and foremost, thank you in advance for attending this AIM MPW webinar and for your time today. We hope to make it worth your while as we have a ton of great information to share. Since we have such a broad range of attendees, I thought it would be helpful to take a step back and quickly go over the history, mission, and initial investment in AIM Photonics. This will hopefully help you understand what brought us to where we are today and how our mission is critical to the integrated photonics ecosystem. So with that said, let's get started. In 2014, the Revitalize American Manufacturing and Innovation Act authorized the Department of Commerce to establish a nationwide network comprised of individual manufacturing innovation institutes. AIM Photonics is just one of these 16 institutes who all share a primary focus, and that is to further strengthen America's global competitiveness. For AIM Photonics specifically, our mission is to create a national institute supporting the end-to-end -end integrated photonics manufacturing ecosystem in the U.S. by expanding upon a highly successful public-private partnership model with open access to world-class shared use resources and capabilities. In 2015, 610 million in public-private investment was initially pledged by key partners, all drawn from industry, academia, and the nonprofit sector, as well as state governments. At the time of the announcement, the U.S. Air Force Research Lab pledged 110 million, with another 250 million anticipated to come from New York State, and the remaining 245 million or more expected from the remaining public and private partners. RF SUNY was chosen to lead the effort and has since been the administrator of the American Institute for Manufacturing Integrated Photonics, or AIM Photonics for short, which according to the White House at the time, is the largest public-private commitment to date for a manufacturing institute launched in the U.S. Since 2015, we have been very busy standing up the institute and working with our key partners to be successful in our mission. We have recently been notified from our government partners about the potential for another round of funding which could provide funding opportunities for the next seven years. We are excited to continue administrating this effort and furthering the mission of AIM Photonics. Now what better way to tell you how great we are than to hear from some of our customers. Please enjoy testimonials from two of our many academic partners, Professor John Bowers from UCSB and Professor Milos Popovic from Boston University. John and Milos have both benefited greatly from our AIM technology offerings and MPWs. Let's hear what they have to say. 